Hi, this is Phil Biadrone here with Jennifer Phillips. My next question is from an actor's perspective. Uh, what are some difficulties working with actors in post-production, particularly uh, ADR? Um, one of them is availability. I think that's a big one. Um, where they're available and when, especially with really busy actors that are constantly working, you're working within a certain window because you have a deadline to deliver and they may be in New York shooting and you're in LA or they're in South America shooting and you're in LA or you're in Toronto and they're in LA and you're trying to work within their schedules and your own. So scheduling can be really difficult. And I don't think a lot of actors realize how tight the deadlines are imposed. So they feel like, you know, well, tomorrow I feel like going shopping and I'm gonna do my grocery shopping and it's like, I'm, I, I just need five lines, you know? Um, and, um, and they have lives too, so they're living their lives. Um, well, we're not in post living any life. <laughs> I believe the picture's wrapped. I'm done. I'm done. I'm released. You know? Yeah, or, um, you know, they told me all the sound was good. Um, the other problem you have is that um, getting availability of actors in specific cities and finding studios in those cities that are up to snuff to do ADR. Aspen does not have a studio for ADR. Um, they just don't. So if the actor's at Sundance, you're kind of out of luck for a couple of days while they're at Sundance uh, until they come home to wherever it is. Or flying them into places that have ADR studios. Um, and so uh, that makes it difficult. And then you have some actors that just aren't good at ADR. <laughs> They're just not good at ADR. Um, in, in what way? Well, part of it is uh, if a performance is really authentic or if, for instance, there was a little bit of improv going on, then sometimes it's hard for them to get back to that acting place um, to do the line the same way with the same intonation and the same timing. Um, and so sometimes that's hard for them. And they don't understand we can't always slide everything because syllables land where syllables land and the yes. audience knows, right? And the minute I find as an audience member it's out of sync, I'm out of the story. I'm gone, you know, and my dishwasher needs to be emptied. So I really like to see things in sync, and most actors do too. Um, and it's something you can actually work at, you know. Um, and there's ways of working with it. We, we'll put it in their ear so they can, instead of watching it and doing it, you know, like monkey see, monkey do, then you'll put it in their ear and so they can catch prompter. it. Yeah, and you put an ear prompter in so they can hear their original line and how they said it, and they can do it at the same time or right after. And amazingly, kids are really good at ADR. Kid actors are usually dead on. They're amazing. I don't know why, but all the kids I've ever worked with have just been, they get in, they do their line, they're done, you move on. They're right there. Interesting. Yeah. So if an actor cannot do it to save his or her life, um, you can like only that. do so much in the production phase. And at that point, do you have to start sacrificing shots? Or maybe like, oh, maybe we'll do the back of her head on this question. Um, <laughs> you try not to do that. Because at that point, usually your picture is locked. Mm. What you try to do is the editor, the sound editor, will do absolutely everything they can to edit syllable by syllable, frame by frame. Um, you know, subframe by subframe to get it to fit, and they'll do their absolute best. And your heart just hurts when an actor tries so hard. Or you'll move on to something else, maybe an easier line or a line that's later, and and move off of it and go back to it. And sometimes when you move off of it and go back to it, then for some reason somewhere in the brain it clicks and they're right there. You know. Interesting. So as an actor, I can practice ADR. Yeah. 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 So, in order, if I wanted to practice on my own to make sure I'm up to up to snuff for post production, how can I practice ADR? Well, what you do is you you know you would watch TV or watch yourself and try and sync yourself. You know, you look at yourself in a piece and then you go back and say it again. And sometimes you will actually you'll get a request from an actor. Could I have the pieces I'm going to be doing? And and you'll I mean now today with digital we can now put a little DVD. It's nothing. So you can now put them a little DVD of the pieces you're going to be doing ADR on and they can watch it and practice or see, you know. You patch in directors over the phone. Well, that's great. Thank you for sharing that. I'll make sure to keep that in my back pocket.